Now, next up is the bird dog. It's kind of the reverse of the, of the dead bug. So it gives you a chance to kind of put gravity pushing in the opposite direction. Similar muscles work, and same idea with that uh, contralateral connection of the core. So right shoulder, left hip, kind of connected in that sling. So what I'm gonna have you do is start off on your hands and knees, and I'm gonna have you drop your chest down and push away. Just find that middle ground. And then from there, you're gonna press the lower back up and drop it down. And again, find that middle ground. You don't need to do this one every time. Let's just sort of set the movement. So we want kind of neutral spine and scapula, not fully depressed, not fully extended. From there, I want you to think about pressing your right hand and left knee into the ground. And that's, gonna do, and that's gonna allow you to stay strong through the core because we're lifting the opposite. So left hand, right knee. So lift up and reach out. And then back. And we wanna land softly and lift and land simultaneously with those, the arm and knee. A Couple ways that people tend to make a mistake with this exercise is they start to rotate and they do something like this and they open up this hip. So what we're looking to do is imagine you've got something resting on those hips. If you've got a yoga block or a book, you could even uh, place one there. And we're looking to try to keep those hips as still and stable as possible. If you'd like to add, um, if you do find, if you get to a point where you find this a little bit easy and you want to challenge yourself a little bit, you can add a kind of a opening up 45 degree angle with the arm and leg. And what that would look like is drive out, brace, and just hold it there. So just involve the, the glutes and the glute meat a little bit more. And again, with these movements, the total number of reps is not nearly as important as the quality of reps. So I like to program these with time. So I'd say 60 seconds, you'll spend 60 seconds working on doing the best possible movement you can do. And if that turns into 10 or 15, it doesn't really matter because we're concerned with the time that the core is under tension. Okay, so don't rush through these and make sure that you're not using momentum to give yourself the illusion of control and stability. So it might look like this where you start going, this is easy. It's not really what we're looking for. You will get a cardio workout that way, but we're trying to force the muscles in the core to stabilize the hips, stabilize the shoulders, and that's gonna pay dividends later on when we start to get into more complicated, more challenging movements.